the LED controller page at github.com forward slash Hugh Q Elliott forward slash LED hyphen controller um, is uh, using an uh, AT Tiny 85 for the controller. And let's just figure out how to uh, get set up with the AT Tiny 85 so that you can actually work with it if you decide you don't want to just use the standard code. But even if you do want to use the standard code, you do need to get a library in Arduino. So once you have Arduino, let's assume you've done that, you need to go find um, the AT Tiny 85 board package. So if you want to have new boards, so when you go into your board menu in tools, board, in your boards manager, the board manager comes with a default set number of boards. You can import more boards using the boards manager. So here we have the boards manager um, and you can see all the available boards that are listed in the base boards manager, but you want to add to that, you go to file preferences and you see here additional boards manager URLs. You'll want to add and I'll, I'll add this into the description of the, the video, but you want to add in the, there's going to be two, but this one, the raw.githubusercontent.com forward slash Demelis forward slash AT tiny forward slash IDE hyphen 1.6.x hyphen boards hyphen manager um, forward slash package underscore Demelis underscore AT tiny underscore index dot JSON. And that will, when you open boards manager, that will then be available to you to look up. So if you looked up AT Tiny, the David A. Mellis AT Tiny library is available to install. So you install it and now you can choose the AT Tiny board to upload to, which is great. You can set your process to the AT Tiny 85. You set your internal clock speed, your clock speed to internal eight megahertz. Um, I believe that's correct. And then when you upload it, it should work. So we're going to go ahead and work on the upload video next. But this should get you started on being able to bring the boards into Arduino.